worship flow to him. Come on, let's worship him. Let's worship the Lord. Let's give him the sacrifices of our praise because he deserves it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord, that
your worship tonight by singing the hymn 164 love lifted me
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And before I pray tonight, I want to encourage us to be connected with the Lord tonight. Sometimes our mind, it drifts. But I really want to encourage us tonight to focus on Jesus. If you are sitting at this time, I'm inviting you to stand. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, when it is that we are in the presence of certain dignitaries or officials, we do show a level of respect and appreciation. How be it then that when we are in the presence of our Lord, we go so casually doing what we please to do. We must reverence him tonight, everyone. We must give him worship tonight, everyone. So wherever you are in the sanctuary, I want you to close your eyes right now. And I want you to extend your hand all the way up. And I want you to begin to worship the Lord. Find something to give him thanks for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You didn't have to grace us with your presence, Lord, but you did. And we want to thank you tonight. Oh God, forgive us tonight for not showing the level of respect that we ought to show. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thou art worthy, Jesus. Thou art worthy, Jesus. We lift you up tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Begin to open your mouth and worship him. Hallelujah. Jesus is passing this way. Hallelujah. Sit among us, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we linger in his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just grab a hold of one person tonight. Hallelujah. As we pray for each other. Thank you, Jesus. Reign, Jesus, reign. Reign, Jesus, reign, King of Zion, Judas Lion, reign, Jesus, reign. One more time, oh.
Let's pray tonight, everybody. Hallelujah. Let's pray, everybody. Even if you don't feel like praying, let's pray, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Maybe all you can say is Jesus. Come on, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I might be tired, Lord, but Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, I might not be feeling well tonight, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, you must be worshipped, Lord. Ah, thank you, Jesus. I'm taking myself out of the picture tonight, God. I must worship you tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God, have your way in the service tonight. Jesus, we trust you, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, everyone, Lord, who comes here to minister tonight, Jesus, let it be under the anointing. Hallelujah. 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 We are not exalting self tonight, Jesus. But every praise, God Almighty, must go up, Lord, before you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for every individual here tonight. Let there be a refreshing tonight. Lord God Almighty, no one will leave here the same way like they came, Jesus. Mighty God, instead of begging from you tonight, we are saying, Lord, what will thou have me to do? Jesus, I'm reporting for duty. Hallelujah. What will thou have me to do tonight, Jesus? Mighty God, Jesus, hallelujah. I'm saying to you tonight, Jesus, that I'm going to worship you, Lord, like I've never done before. Mighty God, have your way, Jesus. And even as the choir ministers, God, you choose the song, Lord. Hallelujah. If there will be a song leader tonight, Jesus, use him or her for your glory. Jesus, we pray for the word tonight. Hallelujah. Mighty God, your word is already anointed. Jesus, mighty God, pour your spirit, Jesus. In fact, it is already on board, Lord. Mighty God, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands and worship him some more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Let's just continue to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
you for your presence Lord Jesus thank you Lord thank you Jesus amen reading in your hearing Luke chapter from Luke chapter 4 verse 16 to 21 and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty to them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Lord Jesus bless you. As I stand in this place. As I stand in this place. Lord, I seek your face. Lord, I seek your face. I surrender my life. I surrender my life to you only. Lord, here I stand. Lord, here I stand. Reveal your pain. Reveal your pain. Lord, I stand in awe of you. Lord, I stand in awe of you. Yeah. Let's be through and through. And at your feet I bow. And at your feet I bow. Yeah. I will I lay Let's try that one more time. As I stand in this place.
stand in this place. And the Spirit cover me. the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Let's really worship Him. Let's really worship Him. Let's really worship Him. There's a precious, precious, precious touch of God in this place. Oh God, there's a precious touch of God in this place tonight. I just want to encourage us all to really keep our focus and really worship Him. There's a song, you know, it's by the grace of God that we are saved. And you know, there's a song that says, no, it wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be enough. If we had all the wealth and the riches, it wouldn't be enough to buy one splinter of the tree that Jesus died on. I wonder if the choir would try even a little bit, a little part of it. side from this side from the balcony from the choir let's all say thank you Jesus hallelujah oh thank God praise God amen you may be seated God is good all the time. Oh, thank God. Just want to welcome us all tonight. Are there any visitors tonight? Any? Vi we have one visitor. Oh, is somebody nearby? Shake his hand. Give him a welcome. Where there, I missed. There was a gentleman there. There was a lady there. Stand again for me, please. Yes, and that gentleman you stood a while ago. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome to the presence of the living, living God. One true God. Amen. You may be seated. Um, tomorrow, in terms of announcements, schedule of activities, men's and women's fellowship general meeting, 6.30 tomorrow. Um, youth service on... 
Tuesday, 6.30, Morning Manor, 6.30, 9 a.m., Pentup High School Student Service, Fasting Service, 11.45, Student Service at 3 p.m., and Bible Prayer and Bible Study, 6.30. Thursday, 6th, National Ministerial Meeting at Campsite in Monique. ACA graduation, members are encouraged to attend at 6 p.m. Saturday, Women in Ministry Conference for women, for female pastors, ministers, wives of pastors and ministers at the campsite in Monique. Registration costs $1,000. And there is at 11 o'clock, that service, women in ministry is at 9 a.m. At 11 a.m., the funeral service for Sister Celida Morris will be held at Pentab. And uh, Sunday, we come back here again to start the cycle until Jesus comes. Amen. We have heard a lot. We need to put into practice what we have heard. I'm just going to ask our ushers to come. We're going to be receiving an offering. And during the receiving of the offering, we, we're going to be having, uh, we will be led in worship. Come, Sister Mackenzie. But let me first, just waiting on the altar, the ushers, and then I will pray. Amen, amen. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? The Lord is with us tonight, you know. The Lord is with us tonight. He wants to do something, and we have two special speakers. And I was saying to one of our speakers, they have their own backup with them as well. <laughs> amen, amen. I see two backup <laughs> assistant preachers. <laughs> amen, amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessed, blessed be the Lord. Amen. Lord, we thank you again. Without you, we are nothing. We are expressing our appreciation to you, Lord, for what you have opened the doors for us to come and to give back. Not just, Lord God, out of our pockets, but we can give from the depths of our hearts in worship. And Lord, it's because of your mercy and your grace that has brought us through, kept us through those times. We didn't think we could make it, but God, but God, you sent your word. You sent your word. So bless what is about to be given. Pass the hand of those who will be given. Open doors for those who do not have jobs. Make a way we ask. And we say thank you precious Lord. Thank you dear Jesus. In Jesus name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Definitely changed. My life belongs to Jesus. Oh, I'm not the one I was. I've been rearranged. The story of my life has gone from rags to riches. I never understood why before was not this good. I'll definitely change. Oh, yeah. 
Just As we were, we're gonna, I'm gonna be introducing our preacher, and I'm gonna ask you tonight to really support the preaching of the word tonight. Amen. And the best way of supporting the preaching is listening, and then we take it and live with it, and let it be manifested in how we live. That's the best way of supporting the word. Amen. At this time, Sister Paulette Codner is going to be coming to share with us. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I ask you to pray my strength. You know, this place is not my place. Worship the Lord, please. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are strong, Lord Jesus. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. You may remain standing as I read in your hearing. Then said Jesus unto his disciple. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will not will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angel, and then he shall reward every man. He shall reward every one of us. According to his work, according to our work. I'm going to ask Brother Nathan to come and pray. Could we bow our heads, Lord Jesus? We thank you for this moment, God. This moment of destiny, Jesus. This moment of decision. Lord, we stand in your midst, mighty God. And we ask of you to cover your servant. Speak through her, Lord Jesus, your holy words. Let it come through with power and authority. Convicting hearts, mighty Jesus. God, you have set, Lord Jesus, this atmosphere. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you will say to us. Lord, we pray that our hearts will be open and ready to receive your word. We give you thanks tonight in Jesus' name. You may be seated. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Nathan. What I'm supposed to talk about is the challenge of the incarnation. I don't know what my pastor is hearing, but I tell my first lady, Mr. Bartlett, I said, I don't know if Pastor Bartlett is hearing from God. But she say he is hearing. So I must obey. So I'm going to obey. Um, 
First, when you talk about the incarnation, I mean, I really pray. I seek the Lord. I mean, Friday I was so troubled the whole day. I never even remember I didn't eat until about minutes to nine. And as I put my hand on my head and I said, God, your daughter troubled. God Almighty, touch her mind and her heart and give her some peace. She troubled father. Because you know, she's like Moses. She's in speech impediment of every fault. But father, God, you go going to have to do something for her. So tonight, I'm standing in awe of him this tonight. First, as Sister Bartlett say, when you are going to be incarnated, your life is going to take a different turn. You're going to have to make up your mind to lose probably friends, things that you hold close to you, probably family member and things, but you're going to have to let go. That's the first thing you're going to have to do. But when before I start to reach that place in my life, I grew up in the church. But you know, sometimes you come to church and you really and truly, you're not in church, you're playing church. We come to church as a routine. We know we sing, we worship, we pray. But if you truly want to make it in, your prayer is going to have to change. You're going to have to tell God, say, God... I'm available to you. Cleanse me. You're going to have to move things out of your life. So Jesus can take preeminence in your life. And if you don't want to do that, don't start the prayer. I come to church sometimes and I hear people say they don't sing certain songs. Like there are millions in the world who are so much better than I. But why he chose me, I never know. But Jesus chose me. And with him, I am determined to go. So once I'm determined to do that, I go have to start shedding. I go have to start laying aside. You have another one we sing. Lead me, Lord, I'll follow. Lead me, Lord, I'll go. If you're not ready, if you do it, not sing it. Don't sing it. Because if you sing it and it comes, you're going to have to be ready to go. You must. I traded sunshine for rain. Comfort for pain. That's what I'll be willing to do. And whatever it takes, Lord, to be more like you. That's what I'll be willing to do. Are you willing to go on the street side? Are you willing to walk into that home and clean out that house that with that little eight person sitting in? Are you willing to walk the path that Jesus go? Ask yourself the question before we start singing it. I'll give you all. If all is what you ask of me, I will not withhold. Will we leave our homes and our cars and go to Guyana? Will we go into that place where that sister drink came to drink for our dinner and lunch and breakfast? Are we willing to let go of all those things? Let us ask ourselves that question tonight. If you are not going to give all, if it's not all is what it, it's going to take from you, and you are not going to withhold it, you're going to have to be willing to let go. Take it all. Take it all. What the world has to offer, take it all. You're willing to let go your bank account? You're willing to let go all that you have to give to Jesus? 
check ourselves. The challenges of incarnation. Those are all the challenges. To whom much is given, much is required. So we're going to have to let it go. To become incarnated is not an easy road. But if we are true to ourselves and to God, we going to have to make up our mind to do it. We can't avoid it. If heaven is our home, we going to have to make up our mind. People of God, brothers and sisters, today is a day to check ourselves, to look into ourselves, the challenges of incarnation. Am I willing to give up of all of that? Am I willing to let self die? We have to willing for self to die. We must be willing for self to die. I remember the first turn I took. I was coming to church one morning and I saw a lady lying out there after the heavy set of rain. And she was white because she soaked into some thing there. And my heart goes out for her. I couldn't pass her. And I went in search for Brother Michael. And I said, Brother Michael, we can't keep church this and she over this. It is something wrong. We have to set it right. And myself and sister, um, I don't remember her name right now, took up that sister. And I had on a tarsi suit. And it never mattered what I was wearing that morning. And I took her upstairs and I bathed her. And we get clothes downstairs for her when we clad her. And brother... Brother Fletcher, Brother Fletcher assisted us with her and he put her in his vehicle and we drove her to a home somewhere in the inner city and we placed her. He took money out of his pocket and go and buy the things them. We went and buy the things them that they asked for her, for her to go in the home. We have to go that place. We have to be incarnated to pick up that place, to go where Christ wants us to go. He's not here anymore. We are here. We have to go. We have to do what he wants us to do. We have to become all things to all men. St. John 2, 4 and 6. Um, speak up. Um, sorry. Um, 1 John 2, 4 and 6. 4 and 6 said, He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandment, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected, Whereby now we that are in him, we have to be at the place where God can use us. We have to make up our mind to be true to God and his word. First John 13, 34 and 35 said, A new commandment I give unto you. That he love one another as I have loved you. That he also love one another. By this shall all men know that he are my disciple. If he have loved one to another. We have to take a deep look, child of God, in our, in our, on the inside. And ask ourselves the question. First, we're going to ask, why me? And when you find that answer, are you willing to say, yes, use me? Yes, I'll be willing to go. Yes, I'll do what you want me to do. 
Yes, I'll say what you want me to say. Am I all into something that all no value nothing to me here than my soul's salvation? For Jesus took upon himself the form of a servant. He was made in the likeness of men. We must make ourselves an Funeral. We must make ourselves a servant. We must be sensitive. We must be in a position where we can reach the loss at any cost. We will have to forget about who we are. We have to minister to them. And the only way we can do that is if we go up close and personal. Staying afar off, we won't reach them. They want to feel us. They want to see us. They want to be mingled with us. So we going to have to come out of our comfort zone. Come out of the position that we sit in. Come out of the way in which we think we view ourselves. Because I tell people every day there's no first and second heaven up there. So if we think we have a first, a second and a third, we are fooling ourselves. There's one heaven and that is where God going to be peer for a peer people who do his will and do his work and if you are not doing it you're not going anywhere stop fooling yourself and wake up wake up there's not time anymore to sleep pastor Bailey preached this incarnation so many times Jesus is waiting for us. We are his and his feet. We are his mouth. If we are willing to make incarnation a model of our lifestyle, if it's not big people of God, it's time we go back home. It's time we go to our bed. And it's time we take a good look check our prayer life check our time we spend with God ask yourself the question tonight before you leave here am I willing to go am I willing to let go am I willing to trade sunshine for rain comfort for pain Lord that's what I'll be willing to do am I willing to go out in the back of feel if it's even to my neighbor next door and spend some time with her to reach her to go into her world some of us our parents our brother our sister is yearning and we are not reaching them we are so far check ourselves tonight god bless you Worship the Lord tonight, everybody. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Master, the tempest is raging. Oh, the billows are tossing. Overshadowed with blackness. Oh. 
to some storms tonight. He wants to stay peace. He is gonna stay.
Let's clap our hands unto the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, there's really a, there's a rich presence. There has, has been a real rich presence of the Lord inside. Amen. And you know, I was saying to a good friend of mine in the back there that, you know, the Lord has a way of setting us up. And Sister Codner has left some serious, serious, serious words with us that we would do well to examine and apply to our lives. I really think God has been talking to us over the past couple of weeks. And we are accountable for what we are hearing. I'm going to ask Sister Millwood to come. I know there is, you know, she may feel like Sister Codner. I'm still going to ask her to come. God is screaming at us, screaming, trying to get through to us. Oh God, their feel is, people are out there going into the boils of hell. And because we are troubled with the things that are not concerning his kingdom. Oh God, help us to answer, answer his call. Give us the strength tonight. Come, sister. Let us just lift our hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I was telling Brother Shea just to make the altar call. Hallelujah. But I suppose the lot is falling on me. Praise God. Just a few words. Verses from Romans 12, verses 9. We go down a little. It says, let love be without dissimulation. That is, let love be without pretense. Have all that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another. With brotherly love, in honor, preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Not, mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Brother Nathan, I'm just going to ask you to, to follow through. Let's bow our heads. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much 
for your presence here tonight, Lord. Lord, we stand ready one more time to hear from you. Lord, touch your servant, God, even now as she speaks your word. We pray that once again our hearts will be opened and ready to receive your word. Lord Jesus, this is a moment in time that you have set out, Jesus, for your people to hear from you. Help us, Lord, to understand that, God, whatever we hear tonight, you want us to use it, Lord Jesus. So, God, we thank you for your word in advance, and we worship you for what will be said in Jesus' name. Praise God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. We all want to go to heaven, right? We all want to walk on streets of gold. We all want to throw our crowns at Jesus' feet. And brethren, for some of us, we only want to do enough to keep us out of hell. However, before we can do any of these, we must become incarnated. Like our Lord Jesus Christ, we must walk the way he walked. We must talk the way he talked. We must be like him in every aspect of our lives. Let me remind you that Jesus is God incarnated. Philippians 2 verses 5 says, and I'll read a little of that. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also highly exalted him and given him a name, which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every knee. The atheists, all those who do not believe in God, every knee is going to bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Jesus did all that humans did and much more just to give us an opportunity to be like him in order to save us. Because of this, we who are saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name, we know where we are going. We know where we are going. We also know what is required of us. If we want to finish the course, to say with Paul, I have run the race. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. Hence is there laid up for me a crown of righteousness. We must embrace incarnation. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 19 to 24 speaks to the incarnation of man. And this is a pattern that the Apostle Paul admonishes us to follow. We must be disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. How can we not be? We must be disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. In John 33, 30, 13 verse 34 and 35, Jesus said, A new commandment I give unto you, that he love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if he have love one toward another. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor tonight. Can you honestly say in your heart that neighbor, I love you? Blessed be the name of Jesus. The challenge of incarnation. The challenge of the incarnation. I believe that accepting Jesus' love 
is the main challenge of incarnation. Accepting that Jesus loves us is the main challenge of incarnation. We hear it all the time. Many of us are taught from infancy in the songs we sing. We sing it today. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. And this song has a special place in my heart. Because when I am disappointed or I feel down, I just go to that song and I just sing it and to encourage myself. Yes, Jesus loves you, Angela. The Bible says he loves me and it is true. It is the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. But has this truth really registered in the core of our consciousness, of our being? Do we really believe it? Do we trust in Jesus? When we have problems, what do we do? What do we do when we have our challenges? We try to fix it first. And when it can't work, we go to Jesus, right? That's how much we love and believe that he loves us. Brethren, I just want to share this quick testimony with you before I go on. Sometime in May, I was coming to church Sunday evening. I'd gone to look for a friend and I was coming down and at the corner of Old Hope Road and Mountain View, you know, there are three lanes and I came into the right lane and uh, armor truck was in the middle lane and we waited for the light to change. When the light changed, I drove off and I thought that he was going to stay in the, the left hand. But he came over and I felt the vehicle shake. And he stopped and started to quarrel, say, I, I, I drive bad and overtake and lick him. But when I looked at my small, thin vehicle, I didn't see anything wrong with it. He's driving an armored truck. Anyway... He drove off. I didn't see any need to go and report it to the police. During missions convention, I went home the Tuesday evening. I got a letter from the insurance company. Say I, was, I drove recklessly and caused damage to the armored vehicle. And I'm to call them to find out how I'm going to make, to, to pay for this damage. And brethren, I, I was... Right in the middle of convention, I, my pressure just went up. And then he, I said, you know what, Lord? Sennacherib has written. And he wants to confuse me right in Mission's convention. So I put the letter in the Bible and I leave it. And I enjoyed Mission's convention. And then Monday, Tuesday, I waited again. Thursday, I picked up the letter, took it to work. I scanned it and emailed it to a lawyer asking her what I'm to do about it. She didn't answer because she was in court. I sent it to the insurance, my insurance company, and asked them what to do about it. When she called back and said that she had called the other insurance company and um, she couldn't get through to them, so I am to call them. When I call, I ask her, what is this? And she says, God's man had sent you has made a claim, say you drove recklessly and you damaged the armored vehicle. I said, my dear, I drive a small vehicle and nothing was done to my car. So how, how did I damage an armored vehicle? So she said, I said, what are they claiming for? They're claiming for scratches. She said, you know what, call God's man. So I called God's man and I put it to them. And I, the girl was telling me, even though we see the armored trucks, they are really not as hard as we think they are. So I said, I said, what is the damage? And do you have photographs of the damage? She said, no, but she doesn't understand all of this. And I said, confuse them, Lord. She said, when I finished speaking with her, I, she said she didn't have an assessment, but the gentleman um, reported that. I had overtaken the vehicle and had all of that. So she said, leave your name and number and I will. The managers are in, in a meeting, but I won't promise to call you today. I'll call you tomorrow. 
On Friday, when I was driving to work, I got a call. And she said, Mrs. Millwood, the managers have decided to withdraw the claim. I believe. I believe that Jesus is on my side. I believe that he loves me. I believe that he cares. That is why I have to love one on it, my peers. Praise God. You know, but things, things happen and sometimes you don't believe. Your trust has, 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 has waned. And even though we have been saved for many years, many of us find it difficult to accept that Jesus loves us. How could he love me? One so unlovable. Maybe my childhood experience prevent me from receiving so great a love. Our continued habitual acts of sin prevents us from accessing God's love. We feel unworthy to go to him to seek his forgiveness. But we must. We must receive his love in order for us to love each other. The climax of discipleship we have learned in our Bible studies is making incarnation the top priority in order to consistently and genuinely love others. Incarnation also calls us to take a deep look on the inside. What I see in me is my inability to process and handle disappointments. I don't know about you. To process anger and sadness, pain and loss. I murmur and complain, blaming others when things go wrong in my life. It is so easy for me to sink into depression. And if I'm not careful, I'm not but for the grace of God, I become bitter. The challenge to me and to others who may be in a similar position as I am is to take a thorough, unbiased look inside our hearts. So many times we are afraid to examine ourselves, our motives because of what we may see. But if I am to be incarnated, I have to stand flat-footed and face my innermost self. Why? Because God already sees and knows what is on the inside. And it is my responsibility to search them out. To take them to God in prayer and to ask for his help. He will help me die to the self-centeredness that is bound up in my depraved Adamic nature. Saints of God, as we see the day fast approaching, let us resolve not to fail Jesus. We can't fail him, no. We can't fail him. He has done so many things for us. Calvary. Calvary stands as testimony why we cannot fail Jesus. Oh, Lord God, let us be determined to be all that he has called us to be. Jesus is with us, urging, encouraging us to love one another. Every message that we have heard, whether through the preaching of the word from this pulpit, in our Sunday school classes, songs sung, sung through the choir, all these avenues Christ is using to entreat us to love one another. Often when we hear the word of the Lord, we make the decision to change or to seek to change. But somewhere along the line, life overwhelms us. And if we are not careful, we are in a worse position than when we started. I'm encouraging myself tonight and all of us to get up, brush ourselves off, move forward, not taking the baggage of yesterday, not looking on who love me and who don't love me. Some of us, if the remarks that we heard said about ourselves, we would have just crawled into a hole and die. 
but we are going to shake ourselves off. Because we know we are, where we are going. We know whose we are. We know to whom we belong. And we are going to use this and we are going to love others. We must be persistent when seeking God's help and favor for our lives. You know, I believe heaven stands at attention to say, huh? Can you see them? When it sees our love on display, the way we treat each other in love. Brethren, if we could just only get this right. Loving ourselves, loving others, loving God first. Just start within the tabernacle. When we are tempted to say evil about others, bite our tongue. Ask the Holy Spirit to help us. To put it underfoot and to trample it. If there's an unkind thought, let, us, let it not be among us. Let us just throw ourselves into loving each other. Will we put our love on show by seeking to love, love those we perceive to be unlovable among us? Brethren, we have heard the testimonies. We heard our brother speaks to the new convert care how we, we, we have to struggle to really get into some groups but brethren that should not be found among us we should be able to hug each other even if we are not really because we know you know brethren that people of different persuasion you know the doctors will speak the same language as doctors the nurses as nurses the teachers as teachers but when we come into this sanctuary we have to put off all of that and we have to embrace everyone hallelujah that is a real incarnation embracing everyone hallelujah so that we can go out as a mighty army to embrace others to embrace a community hallelujah of central kingston to embrace a community mighty god of Duane park of nannyville we have to get this right brethren we have everything to gain when we love each other. Our Lord is depending on us. He wants to show us off. The ones who are among the redeemed. Who through love will stand before him on that great day. And I just want to love the way he wants me to love. I want to be all that he wants me to be. I am determined. Hallelujah. 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 Yesterday is gone. Everything that I did yesterday is gone. This is a new beginning for me. And I'm going to love the way like I've never loved before. Because that is what is required of me to be incarnated. To treat everybody right. Hallelujah. And I just want to use this medium to apologize to anyone that it would appear that I have disdained them or not show them love. I want to use this opportunity to apologize to you. Because I want to start afresh. Let us just stand and lift our hands to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He was incarnated. Hallelujah. So that we will have life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord bless you richly. Hallelujah. May his love shine in our hearts today. Hallelujah. Because we belong to him. In Jesus' name. Praise God. We have heard so much tonight. And we do have visitors with us. Going to give them an opportunity. But I'm going to ask all of us. To come to the altar. We have heard, we really have heard a, quite a lot. Our two speakers, Lord has ministered to us in song. And this is an opportunity for us 
to really reconnect with each other and touch base, touch him to seek his face. I'm going to, is there somebody, maybe it's the first time you have come, you, you really don't know a whole lot about the Bible, but something has been tugging at your heart, telling you that you need to come to the Lord Jesus. We're giving you that opportunity tonight. But then I'm asking all of us to come into the altars. And we're going to hold in groups of fours. We're going to pray for each other before we leave. We're going to connect with the Lord Jesus. And thank Him. And recommit ourselves to what He wants us to do. Women on the right. Pray for each other as we get into groups. We're going to really pray for each other. Yes, Lord, take me to that old, to that old landmark. Help me to find my direction. You have been talking to my heart. Help me to make a brand new start. Help me to find. 
Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, you've been talking to my heart, you've been tugging at my heart's door. Oh God, you've been more than good to us, Lord. You've given us your word tonight. Oh Jesus, help me to surrender my heart. Those kingdoms that are standing, oh God, that has kept me from surrendering over the years. Tonight is the night as I come to you, Lord, to surrender my life afresh. This is a new start. Oh God, you have given me, Lord, a road map. And I'm going to use it. Oh God. Here I am in your presence. Here I am in your court. Oh Jesus. Here I am Lord tonight. Oh. Oh not worthy to lift up my hands. Having failed so many times. Oh God. Doubting that you can take oh god you can take my lips my hands and lord you can use it i'm not gonna limit you lord i'm gonna open up and play my part oh dear jesus tonight is a new start a new day a new commitment oh forgetting the things that are past Pressing tonight, pressing into your presence. Oh, here we are tonight, Lord. Oh, many different challenges, Lord. Thank you for having spoken to us. And you're doing your work in our midst. Oh, God, who are we to stand in your presence? But you have given us so we can come boldly, Lord. To the throne of grace we can make oh god oh god we can open up our hearts to you and leave here with a total change change of heart change of mind oh god hallelujah oh lord every person in this building not one, oh Lord, will leave unchanged. Every one of us leaving here with a purpose, with our dreams. Oh Lord God, reactivated in our lives. Oh, to do your will. Oh, regardless of our situation, faith rising up. Faith, oh Jesus, Lord, take me back to that old landmark where I make a new commitment and begin a fresh start. Help me find my direction Place a burden in my heart Oh Lord, take me back To an old mind Hallelujah Oh yes, do your work, Lord. Do your work, Lord. Do your work, yes, children. Get a hold of him. Get a hold of him. Giving us direction for tomorrow. Giving us the strength to face what we will. Oh, what we will have to face in the coming days. Oh, but not facing it with uncertainty. Facing it knowing that he that had 
We're going to good work. We'll continue to perform. He has us in the hollow of his hand. He will give us strength that we may be victorious. He will give us strength to go on and to pursue. He will give us strength to do his will. Give us strength to be what we need to be. To apologize for those who we have offended. To ask for forgiveness for those who we have offended. And not hold bitterness and offense. Oh, but that our heart would be free. God wants his children to be free. To be victorious. And to be filled with his spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Cry out unto him. Yes, Lord. Oh, I need, I need a brand new touch. Oh, I need a brand new touch in my life. Oh, I need a brand new touch. Oh, a brand new touch. Oh, a brand new touch. A brand new touch. Hallelujah, brand new touch in my life. Brand new touch, a brand new touch. One more time. Oh, yes, Lord, a brand new touch. And you touch. Have you the strength to carry on? Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. Brand new touch, Lord. My land from yesterday is gone. And if you give me, Lord, another touch, I'll have the strength to carry on. Yes, Lord. Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone. Let's sing it. My strength and from yesterday, yesterday is gone. But if you give me, Lord,
But if you give me, Lord, another time, just rent to carry on. I need a brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone. Give me love and not a touch. I have the strength to carry on. No. Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone, it's gone, it's gone. No.
fellowship meeting tomorrow night. Lord bless you as you leave.